Uh, I think the issue where most of us have the discussion is not whether or not there needs to be reforms, whether or not there needs to be fixes, it's how to. You know, I'm here to find out about Congressman Terry's plan. I know nothing about it. You'd have the same level of access to uh, health care. I have a friend who died of breast cancer because she had no health insurance. She wasn't going in for her checkups. And she died. I try to get help in the state of Alaska. They say you don't. I have five brothers and sisters, two of whom don't have any insurance. I pray to God every day that nothing happens to them. Why not invite all uninsured into the Federal Employees Health Benefit Plan. And I'm not sure how your plan would lower costs for the low-income people to be able to get the insurance to cover these children. If this health care issue has been such a problem, why did it have to wait until the Democrats came into power? You opposed the expansion of the S-CHIP program a year ago. So how can you recon reconcile the fact that you oppose expansion of S-CHIP, which covers children? I think there's simpler ways to accomplish this at a much less price without the threat or the fear of the government taking over health care. My sister is 61 years old. She's a widow. She can't work. And her health care insurance is a high deductible and costs her $12,000 a year. My plan fits squarely with what you're talking about, because under that plan, there's a Which plan? Where is your plan? Is it on your website somewhere? Yes. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah. From what I hear here, he's offering to extend the federal employee insurance, which sounds great. You keep on talking about this plan that you have, but we've yet to see it. They promised me that I'll have my draft back this next week now, since they've had time. And I know that you've described it as opening up the federal employee benefits, the same insurance that you have, to every American. So I think my plan actually helps our children more than... I think, I think it will still have many, many kids, many, many families falling through the cracks. But the problem with that is that a, a 100,000 federal employees right now under that insurance plan can't afford it because the premiums are too high. If you read this... Oh, I don't think so at all. Oh, it is not. And so, how is that a solution to contain costs when your plan is already not affordable for 100,000 Americans? Well, part of the plan will allow it to be affordable. But your office has told us, we've asked three times for your plan, and your office told us that it's in the mail. And so, which is it?